place of prayer, of fasting, of weakness, of giving, of radically sowing their life into the ground so that it would produce much grain in the years to come. Oh, I'm leading a set here. I'm leading a nice set at my house of prayer. Oh, no, you're not. You're gathering around the throne, the assembly of heaven, and there you're going to release rulership, folks. We are not just a nice little house of prayer with worship, prayer. We are binding principalities and powers. We are a part of a rising tide of a new building, an ecclesia. Grace, grace, Lord. Lord, that every obstacle, Lord, that would hinder them, Lord, for standing on the wall. Lord, that you would make them a plain with the shouts of grace, grace. It is not by might, it's not by power, but it's by my spirit. All for the glory of Christ tonight. All for the glory of Christ tonight. Oh, I saw a picture. God is going to set America on fire. He's going to set campuses on fire. He's going to set high schools on fire. He's going to set churches on fire and homes on fire. Oh, send the fresh Pentecost, Holy Spirit. Oh! my trumpet, the intercessors will gather, they will fill stadiums, they will fill back rooms in the marketplace, they will fill auditoriums in the high schools. I am blowing a trumpet myself, says the Lord, and I will gather the people. Many years ago, Jesus asked a group of radical disciples a simple question. These disciples loved and had followed Jesus. They had healed the sick and cast out demons in his name, but they did not truly understand the power of who he was. The question Jesus asked these radicals, who do you say I am? The question is as relevant today as it was then. Many earnest believers are working hard in the kingdom. They have given their all, but are burnt out, spiritually bored, and have dull hearts. They yearn for a breakthrough in their city, in their ministries, and more than anything, in their own hearts. To these disciples, Jesus gives the same answer he did all those years ago, himself. He alone is the sustaining power for our hearts. He is our savior, our healer, and our provider, but he is so much more. We can live fascinated with the majesty and mystery of who he is. Jesus, our magnificent obsession. This discovery is what this year's One Thing Conference is all about. Join with the International House of Prayer and over 25,000 other young adults to encounter more of Jesus as we do His works and change the world. 